A new 2K13 video was released today, showing off the new controls in NBA 2K13. The funny thing is that some of these controls are wrong in this video. Is this a fake video? I point them out when I see them. But everything's looking pretty good. That still look good. Look at that pass through the legs. But you see, they said to do a bounce pass, you have to press A. You actually have to hold left trigger and A to throw a bounce pass. You don't just press A to do that. That's the manual bounce pass control. Take charge with B. If you double tap B, you'll flop. They changed the alley-oop to X plus A. And if you don't have anybody to pass it to, like on a fast break, you'll oop it to yourself off the glass. And the controls are pretty straightforward for the dribbling moves. They were really nice. There's actually some shortcuts. Like if you double tap the right stick in a certain direction, you'll do the in and out move. I think it's gonna be really easy to get used to. It'll take a little while because you're so used to doing it on the left stick. But now you can do all these moves without moving the left stick. So you could be at a standstill, pull off a spin move. And all of these dribbling animations look really nice. I just put out a 2K12 montage where I was doing some nice dribble moves. And I think I'm gonna be doing even better dribble moves in 2K13. Now this is what I'm really looking forward to. The hop step and the step back jumper are on a button again. Remember in previous games we press Y? Now you can do all these things by pressing B. So the B button is the new Y button for all these step backs. And they're showing you that you can use them for your escape dribbles, for everything. And now if you wanna do a Euro step, you just double tap X. The spin layup, you double tap B, then you hold X, spin dunk. You use the right trigger, double tap B, hold X. So even though the controls have slightly changed, I think we're gonna get the hang of it really easy. Don't forget the 2K13 demo is coming out tomorrow. It's online enabled, so make sure to check that out.